Navy looking for an early possession here. They look it to the left. Oh, lovely short run. Fantastic offload. Straight through. Try time. We'll get a number on that player soon. That wonderful angled run, wasn't that? David Dollinger with the try. Ricky Neil Feller with the fantastic ball to put him through. 6'4", 235 pounds, and choosing a beautiful line. Neil Feller was the ACRL 15s player of the year last year. Scrum half in 15s, can play pretty much everywhere on the sevens field. Product of the famed Gonzaga high school program in DC. One of his high school teammates, Jack McAuliffe, is also on the field for Navy. You'll see him go up for this restart here. He's excellent in the air. And Navy had that great 14 to 12 win over Texas earlier today. That kick doesn't go 10, so it's going to be Colorado State with the ball. Uncharacteristic error from Neil Feller there. Jacob Gregory for Colorado State races up. Originally from Australia, he has played 10 years of rugby before, so let's see what this little stepper can do. One handed offload, knocked on, advantage over here. Oh, the fend in the face, sit down, he says. Streaks through. That's Neil Fowler to McAuliffe. Oh, now it's turnover the other way. Colorado State, what can they do? They've got a couple numbers here. Beautiful scrag from the tackle and turnover. Should be advantage then if it's the knock-on. Colorado State trying to rebound here after a tough opening match in pool play. They were shut out by Life University, 43 to nothing. And their coach, Justin Mort, a former player with the Welsh national team. This is the second year as a coach for the squad. Ball moves away for Navy. Oh, great go forward ball, looking for the outside gap, and there's a switch coming up. Wonderful change of angle. Cyrus Wilson will dot down underneath the post. And just everything Navy does when they go forward with the ball, they're just oh, damaging runners right now. Very precise running lines. Good angles, good pace. Navy looking very good early on. We knew they are going to be fit and strong and fast, but they're playing some a really great brand of sevens. I saw them two weeks ago in Raleigh at the ACRL sevens, and... They looked really, really good. They uh, had one slip up in the semifinals, almost lost to Virginia Tech, scored at the death to win it, and then they blew away NC State in the final. Very deep squad. They can go one through 15 and not much fall off from player number one to player number 15. Yeah, it's fantastic stuff. 14-0, they're up three and a half minutes left in this first half. It's been all Navy. Colorado State, see if they can hold possession for a few phases. Now they kick to the left-hand side. It's gone nine, ten meters off someone's back, so it'll be a penalty on the halfway line. And last time there was a 50-50 pass by Colorado State, throwing away possession, led to that turnover try. Let's see what they do this time. The Australian, cut-out pass. Working the short side. Great counter ruck by Navy. Stephen Paris, great work in there in the middle to steal that ball. And they get the penalty from that. They look to go quick again. Very strong and powerful runners. Uh, Spencer Wilson for Navy, excellent player. Really hard to bring down. Oh, lots of space on the outside, stop start. Cutting back in, there's no sweeper. And the little loop will work nicely for a score. Brilliant stuff. Christopher Rixey scoring, finishing off a wonderful work. And all of a sudden, it's going to be 21 to 0. And really, all Navy. Navy picking up where they left off two weeks ago in rally at the ACRL 7s. This looks exactly like the team I saw there. Coached by Mike Flanagan and assistant coach Mike Coyer and Kevin Garrity is the Navy team. 
This kick from in front is good. You saw the replay. Yeah, this is settling up to be an interesting uh, round of quarterfinals for tomorrow morning. We've got these teams, top two teams from each pool will merge through. Uh, in the men, sorry, the first team in each pool. And then the next two best placed teams. So six pools of four equals 24 teams. And only eight get to advance to the cup quarters. So it is do or die on day one, isn't it? And it makes scoring points at a premium here in these pool play games because only the top two second place teams are going to go through and usually it comes down to point differential so you probably want you'll see navy try to run up the score here because they basically have to 100 percent right and i know some fans uh who don't know rugby very well might think oh well, why is a team running up the scoreboard here they have to do it points difference is so important oh the smashed into touch the little australian take that Great quick ball, too, by Navy to keep that ball alive. And it was Christopher Rickson with that beautiful tackle. Ball spits up and works its way, and this could be a fourth try. Stepping and going, go stepping. Dakota Raymond over. Try time. Wonderful work, Dakota Raymond, 200-pounder. Dakota Raymond's a local product. Pathtown, North Carolina, about 30 minutes west of Greensboro up at the Naval Academy now wonderful feed he had there to kind of throw up the defender put him off balance and just get in over the corner 26-0 with the conversion to come so if you've joined us here we're at the USA Rugby College National Championships So 26 nothing. the uh, half-time Hooter sounds, and it has been all Navy. Everything they've done has really been go forward ball, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. They've shown to be a much more polished team than Colorado State. I think they've had uh, a lot of sevens this, this fall, and it shows. Yeah, and we know they're going to be fit, they're going to be fast, but some of the teams you watched, uh, uh, particularly teams that didn't fare so well, tended to drift across the field, and then shovel passes along where these guys have just s done switches or hard lines and real getting go forward ball is what it's all about running lines and angles and uh you know uh, there's another component to that too and that's the ability to find those runners and mm -hmm. put them put the ball at the right spot at the right time and navy's done an excellent job of that this game so it's exciting as we said ladies and gentlemen we got uh, only uh, six teams merge out of the pool straight away and then it's a toss-up for points difference and that sort of thing to see which two other teams join them in the quarterfinals so you'll probably see navy try to keep piling on the points here they've got a comfortable 26-0 lead but it could come down to point differential at the end of the day to get into that cup quarterfinal so i don't expect them to take their foot off the gas yeah absolutely and nice beard by the way thank you we're going to join the action right now so we head back to the field and colorado state here need to get some points for their team they've struggled early on in this day they've got a couple of uh, experienced players in their team actually we spoke about jacob gregory He's 22 years old from uh, Sydney, Australia. And a lot of local boys from Denver. And Colorado State played in that uh, West Coast Sevens and the Rocky Mountain Sevens. That's what they're, they're the at-large bid, but they did very well there. Now obviously coming up against a real strong Navy team. Oh, wonderful There's break up Jack the middle. McAuliffe. Wow, what speed. And what a great angle. Jack McCullough from McLean. He is the collegiate All-American in sevens. The he, only one in his team. What he, a player. He is also the son of Terry McAuliffe, who is the governor-elect of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I understand that the governor-elect will be in attendance at some point this weekend. Be nice to have someone of his stature out here enjoying the games at oh Park. yes absolutely you saw the replay there just ghosting it at the angle fantastic bit of stuff there that extends their lead probably nice. 35 if this kick was good 33-0 McAuliffe's off the field now Navy running on some fresh legs 
Much better restart from Neil Feller. Oh, a little flick pass there. Oh, lovely ball from the Australian. Defend is good. Oh, massive hit just before he gets battled in touch manager throw in field. It's very cl clever play there. Marshall Bryant's on the breakaway here for Colorado State. And then just a slight forward pass from Gregory. He's the playmaker there for the Colorado State team. Ben Pinkelman, Pinkelman involved, knocking over a few players. Pinkelman had a very good summer playing with the Denver Barbarians. And also made the USN a 19 squad a little earlier when he was younger, so... Uh, which is now only 19 years old. We have quite a few players that are just touching 20. So feeding underneath the scrum, so it's going to be a tap penalty for Colorado State. Oh, lovely line. Marshall Brunt up the middle. Swarmed by the sweeper, though. A little bit better from them. Ball gets squirted backwards. Oh, oh. that was a bone-jarring hit. Oh, the show and go from Gregory. Won't have the space, though. There's Pinkelman showing his stuff. Fantastic try from Pinkelman. Former USN and 19 squad. That's the kind of stuff he was doing all summer with the Barbarians. Led them to a club finals appearance. It hasn't been a, it's been a while since the Barbarians have got to the, the finals at uh, that setup, and so doing wonderful, doing brilliant work for that team. Conversion hits the upright, unfortunately, the crossbar, and here's the replay. Solid ruck. Beats the first man. Around he goes. Magic stuff. 33 to 5. The kick wasn't successful, as we said. Gregory will kick off. Oh, and that kick's gone backwards. Unbelievable. With the wind, went backwards. I think that's probably in the running for the worst restart of the day. I would definitely say so. Navy have advantage. Can they come piling in? Some big boys in their team. Solid contact point. Ball's almost out there. Colorado State counter-racking then. Not able to get the ball. It's a good patient build-up. Oh, just a little knock-on here. So advantage not coming. So interesting, some of the teams like Colorado State not playing with a sweeper. I've noticed that, and you know, Navy hasn't really looked to take advantage of that by putting ball to boot. Yeah, and then also the other side of that is if there is a break, you're going to score because there's no one back covering. Looks like Pinkelman might be injured coming off. No, you're right. That's certainly not going to help Colorado State going forward. No, Luke Engelhop comes on here. He's first year playing rugby as well, so he's brand new at the game. He wants to get his hands on the ball early. There he does now. Oh, a couple of massive hits. Three in a row, and all of a sudden it's turnover ball. Well, that's the physicality that you got to expect from the Naval Academy. They came flying in there. A couple of big hits. Colorado State wanted nothing to do with it as we near the Last 90 seconds of this match, it is 33 to 5 to the Navy lead. After this game, we have life against Texas. That should be a good one. Even though life has a stronger team, I've got to hook them horns just for my boys. Outside break is on. Oh, lots of space, won't be caught. Try time. Ian Sugg, Evergreen, Calif uh, Colorado, goes through on the outside, made it look all so easy. 
And that's what I was saying earlier, Dallin, is that uh, Navy is just so strong, one through 15. They can they brought on a bunch of subs, and they really haven't missed a beat. And that is that's such a crucial area to have those subs because, uh, as we saw with Dartmouth, you know, all of a sudden you've got two or three guys out injured, and if you c can't rely on the bench, you won't do so well in a tournament feature like this. Yeah, Maybe. well, you know Dartmouth has the depth as they ended up having two sides make the final of the Ivy Sevens. They played themselves in the final. Actually, I, they didn't play the match, but. But they could have if they wanted to. So advantage Colorado State, knock on here, last play of the game. See if they can make something from this. No, they won't. That is the game, rugby fans, 38 to five. Navy over Colorado State.